in this video i'm going to be talking about use router use react router o and the reason why um, i've been using this over the higher the component um, with the router so to explain this um to give a background to this in in react if you're using like a react router and you want to get the history location and match uh, props uh, these are like really really uh, popular stuff and something you you're gonna be probably using a lot if you're using like functional components you need to wrap your components uh, with with router I are the component especially when you're using like TypeScript now and in that case you are when you're creating like your interface so what i'm saying is you need to do this with router then for your interface you need to also specify these props route component props for your component so whatever your component props is let's say you could actually interface my Props. Okay, wherever your props is, let's type my props. Will be go to this component props, and that's all you could extend from the right component props. So that just somehow like create a lot of like work for you and boilerplates. So this is something that uh, is being worked on and will be released. I assume uh, not 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 so long from now, and it's the use something like use React Router. So I but there's this library already. Of course, you can create like your custom implementation, like uh, uh something here, like I found online. So this was like. A custom implementation of the react hooks use router so whoa this is really nice in the sense that you can get all these useful parameters like you can get match you can get location and if you also need to use like for example from match you can get params or path and sometimes you might need like an ID here or something in that case you could just come here and specify that let's say you create an interface interface of your parts params parents then let's say it's id and it's string you can just bring it here and say part params and with that you're gonna be getting the auto completion so you come here you have the ID if you had less so basically you're gonna be getting the path param so if you're routing to a, a location and you 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 have like several items there you could get that with this ID and with this you don't have to do all those you don't have to inject all this into the props and i really feel like the good thing the, the the reason why i prefer using hooks is like i feel like props should be the things that you're expecting when you pass uh when you're using the components in another component so props should be like properties of course of the component that you're expecting so injecting some other stuff into these properties via like i other components i think it just makes uh, things a little bit more difficult when it comes to like testing and when it comes to like even typing your component just having this you can get it directly from this so yeah we're just saying okay we need this from react router okay why do we need to inject it in the props i mean that could be something you prefer this is just based on individual preference but I really like doing this. So this is one way you can use this. And as you can see, I'm actually using this history props here. So I'm pushing to this checkout page. Of course, you can use the link, um, the link tag also 
provided by react router with this i can if you come here when i add to my card when i add stuff to my card i can actually go to this place and that's how i use the react this is how i use oaks for my react router i just get them directly and um, you can find this library on github or on hempm just yan had this there is since there's an implementation it's not necessary you create a custom implementation anymore and of course react router will be bringing out this uh, officially soon but this will be different this would be like separate it will be like use match use history use location so that might be a minor difference and again that's it for this video in the next video i'm gonna be um explaining how i use typescript for my redux and also like my action creators and also with this new redux hooks i'm just gonna be giving like a broad overview how i kind of like organize my folders and components yeah again thanks a lot for watching thanks and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video